Hello friends, this lesson we are going to design the set for a play of your choice. Pick a scene from the script that interests you and identify the requirements of the scene. Does the script or libretto indicate a doorway? A sink? Does the story take place in a specific time period? If so, research the architecture, context, and trends of the period. Using the scale model box you've created in the previous lesson, and the techniques and materials we've discussed, let's create a half-inch scale model of your unique design. Your set design can be abstract, highly realistic, or anything in between. The sky's the limit, so let your imagination run free. Before you begin, answer a few questions about the scene. Where does the action take place? How can you help tell the story through the environment? How will you organize the space? What design elements will you employ? For this activity, you will need scissors, a standard ruler, a graphite pencil, colored pencils, a glue stick or white glue, cardboard, loose leaf or white paper. A great place to start is on paper with as many thumbnail sketches and renderings you need to develop the design. It's very important for a set designer to be able to quickly and freely communicate their ideas to the director and the rest of the production team. For my theoretical production, I've decided to design the Portacola scene from Monty Python's Spamalot. I'm going to start with a scale elevation drawing of the proscenium and a blank white cyclorama. To create the entrance to the castle, I'm sketching out a facade that spans the width and height of the stage, and acts as a backdrop to the entire scene. I've placed the main archway and gate at the center for sightline purposes so that it's visible to the entire audience, and an emphasized focal point. I've employed a bit of forced perspective within the porticullis to make it seem larger than it is. I'm going to exercise some selective realism and reference some architecture from the period within the details of the backdrop. I've fleshed it out with a mid-tone stone texture so the performers stand out visually against the value of the backdrop. Next I'm going to sketch in a foliage portal to frame the clearing at the top of the playing space. This creates proportion and focuses attention down to the performers. The script indicates that the characters in this scene approach the castle by forest, so I'll need to provide the performers and audience with a little more information as to where they are. I'd like to create a mysterious foreboding atmosphere from the point of view of the ensemble. I also need to obscure and mask portions of the wing, so I'm going to sketch in a series of multi-stem, spindly branches that extend from ground rows. Now I'll add some earthy color, but keep a controlled palette. Some greens and browns, but mostly gray tones. Let's extrude this into an isometric view and review some of the components you may want to include in your design. A backdrop upstage, portal borders to frame the space, ground rows to simulate parts of a landscape, the proscenium arch, a painted floor treatment. Now create your scale model from your sketches. Experiment with different color choices. Try adding different textures and elevations to your design. Does your scene have a sense of sky? Is it entirely realistic or completely abstract? How will light interact with it? Do any of the set pieces move? Please remember to share your designs.